What would we? Je vais parler de uh, what can Mr. Fluffy actually dominate in terms of outdoor creatures that hangs out in my yard? I have to ask because uh, because Mr. Fluffy sure is interested in all that is outdoors. He just pretty much hangs out by our sliding door all day. Maybe it's for the sun, but maybe it's for his natural hunting instinct, right? So today we shall go through a list of all his potential preys. Or, or not? Hey, Zampak here. Another day, another day pondering the mysteries of life as seen through a ragdoll cat's eyes. Honestly, I have no idea what Mr. Fluffy, uh, Fluffy thinks about all day, but I do know he hangs out by our biggest windows, aka the sliding door a lot. And it seems like he really wants to go outside. Um, we do actually let him outside sometimes, but only within our existing little uh, kind of roped off uh, wooden deck area, not the whole yard. Maybe because we're paranoid, because cats don't really have that great sense of a direction and we think he's going to get lost. Or maybe it's because he's missing his front claws. Shh, don't yell at me, okay? I'm only Mr. Fluffy's stepdad. Uh, so says my wifey all the time. It was her choice to declaw poor little kitty back when he was but a baby. I mean, he seems okay, but I'd imagine this would really dent on some of his lethal hunting abilities. Anyway, since I like war, and I think this little baby does too, let's go over all the things that I think he wants to hunt and whether I think he can have a realistic chance of catching one. Maybe get that unexpected snack. I assume these are like the Kentucky Fried Chicken Baskets for a house cat, okay? Group number one, uh, birds. Oh boy, we have a lot of birds. I mean, I hear they're chirping like every morning, and after a while, you really kind of just get used to it. And I think Mr. Fluffy has gotten used to it too, because every morning, it, it, it has become no surprise to me when I hear him batting at the sliding door. I'm sometimes even making kind of the imitation chirping noises, right? Doesn't that imply that he wants to go jump on some birds? Uh, I've seen several different types of birds actually land our yard. Uh, our, our kind of our yard is full of just weeds. I mean, I, I mow it, but it's just kind of low level weeds, all right. So I assume the gir uh, the birds are in our yard for the worms that are in the weeds. I mean, my decision is that I'm pretty sure Mr. Fluffy could take any of those. He's pretty surprisingly agile for his, you know, girth. I can't. I don't know if you can see how how fat he can be sometimes. So even without his front claws, I'm pretty sure his teeth would do, do the trick for the little birdies, right? Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> okay, group number two, uh, squirrels. Ah, yes, the quintessential rats with a fluffy tail group. I mean, I see these little cluckers digging through my potted plants. So that really annoyed me. As far as I'm concerned, I want to unleash hell in the form of our large-ish sized cat, okay? Um, however, my wifey won't let me, so yeah, it's a no-go. Considering that squirrels are vegetarians, I'm pretty sure Mr. Fluffy would also have a tremendous advantage, right? The problem that I see, though, is that I've seen squirrels literally run at full speed uh, on top of my fence ledge, essentially. And I don't know if, if there, uh, Mr. Fluffy has ever shown the level of sustained agility as that, right? I've seen him jump on like very tiny, tiny little ledges all over the house, right? But I'd, I've never seen him run on such a narrow ledge like a squirrel has done, right? Uh, my wifey has actually taken pictures of where the cat and a squirrel do a staring contest through the sliding door. So that makes me think maybe our local squirrels don't really understand how a house cat can be its mortal enemy at this point. So yay for the surprise factor? I mean, I would love, love to see this conflict someday. I mean, seriously, someday. Just please make it happen. But I don't know if I can convince my wifey to let him go out and chase squirrels. <laughs> now, group number three. Flying and crawling buggies. Okay, so we live in a hot and sometimes somewhat humid area. Right, so there's a lot of little flying things, right? Like mosquitoes or little gnats and some flies here and there, right? I know Mr. Fluffy wants to bat at those because occasionally one would get inside and then this guy goes absolutely crazy for them. Uh, though 
I don't think I've really seen him take one down as in like actually demolish and kill one, right? I think it must frustrate him a lot, just like a laser pointer to a cat, right? To have to hunt something that can literally fly outside of, uh, of your reach. Don't you think? I mean, I don't really want to get into the crawly types because I think Mr. Fluffy generally is just not hungry enough to go after those, right? They don't seem to interest him as much. I am still of the opinion that we should go adopt another cat, maybe a rescue, like a real street cat, because then at least we'd have a, a you know, a real killer of tiny creatures in this house, right? You know, two cats, one would be a real killer, and then there's you, Mr. Fluffy, okay? Who well, obviously is much, much too spoiled. Ooh, too spoiled to serve any real function. Aww. <laughs> Chinny chin scratch. Okay. Now, what about the X Factors? Okay, I, I have to list this. Foxes, possums, raccoons, right? My wife swears that she saw a possum and a fox and a cat go into one part of our hidden yard in the, uh, in the back of the house about a year ago. When she first told me that, I thought it was a setup for some sort of obscene, uh, obscene bar joke, right? Alas, she was serious. Uh, I feel like this, there is no way that this, even the smallest fox wouldn't be able to, you know, out fight you, Mr. Fluffy, okay? Because I'm pretty sure there's just by size or uh, they're a little, uh, a little bigger. Plus, I'm pretty sure foxes are, are supposed to be sly as well, right? Maybe I'm just jealous that I didn't see the fox or, or, or the possum that my wife swears that she saw. But I call this in the favor of the group uh, that I just mentioned, right? Uh, possums, I, I also think, are bigger than a cat. And I've yet to seen a real raccoon in our yard because I feel like uh, if there's raccoons, they would have made their presence known by knocking over my trash can. So I don't think there's raccoons, but frankly, all three of these types are too much of a heavy heavyweight for our, you know, increasingly slim Mr. Fluffy. I think, right? In fact, all three of these are a reason for for uh, my wifey and I to not let you go outside because we don't want you to get you know, hurt trying to f fight for territory against one of these other bigger creatures, okay? So what are the realistic chances that I'll see Mr. Fluffy kill something like he would if he was, you know, a, a, a wild wild cat? Um, almost none, I'd say. Maybe like 5%? And I give it 5 only because I, I have seen him like bat down a moth inside, not even outside, because a moth once got in. The problem was, I'm pretty sure he was just playing with the moth, and eventually I saw the moth, you know, brush his shoulders off and get back up and fly away. So, I mean, seriously, in a way, I worry about how I'm caring for this heck cat. Uh, how I'm caring for this cat in the same way maybe I'd think about a kid, right? How am I supposed to motivate a smaller, less capable creature when it already has everything and all the privileges of the world and never feels pressed to act in order to survive, right? In this scenario, how will I instill that killer instinct, right? In a cat or in the future in a kid who will have all these privileges that I never grew up with? Oh well, who the heck knows? I guess I'll figure it out when I'm closer to that problem, right? At least the human, the human size problem. Can't really help it, I still think about it, uh, even though it's all hypothetical, right? How about you guys? Do you have a pet that actually hunts things or wants to hunt things? What does it hunt? Is it actually earning its keep? If you like meandering thoughts or whatnot, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share, or whatever. Woo! <laughs> okay, Mr. Fluffy, are you annoyed now? Anyway, cheers. A la prochaine.